Hey everyone, it's John Isaias here from The Automator, and uh, we got a really cool tool. It's inspired by Taryn Von Hemmert. I was watching a video, and it's his, he says his best tool ever. Quick demo mm -hmm. here. They think of it as like activating, having a hotkey to activate a program, or if it is existing, to toggle through different versions of it. Right. So let's say in this case, I have four windows of Notepad open. Now with one hotkey, that's the key part, it's just the same hotkey. It toggles between them, activating one at a time. The interesting part about this one is that if we go ahead and close Notepad completely, and Notepad was not open, if I hit the same hotkey, it would just go ahead and open an instance of it, which is great. It, it just decides, okay, is the program over or not? Let me open it for you. Oh, there it is there, it activates it. And that's another interesting part that if I have, let's say something in front of this, I can hit my hotkey and it goes back to that active window that I had. It just goes back to it very quickly. But if I have multiple of them, that's where it gets really cool because now it not only activates it, but it then cycles between the uh, instances of it. But let's say, for example, that I click Explorer, it goes back to this window, and I click Explore, Explorer again, it will not back to the other one, it will go back to the last one. So let's, let's say this is the last one, and there's another one that is empty. So one empty, one that says last one. When I click on Explorer, it goes back to my last active. If I click on it again, it will still go to the last one. So if I switch out of the program, it will go back to the last active one. But if I have it active, it would cycle through them. It's very interesting. It, it's a, there's many things that this thing is doing. But the cool thing is the code is really short. Um, we added a few other extra things, but that is for... Uh, something else I will explain in a second. Yeah, and by the way, the bottom <laughs> right is our on-screen display displaying the hotkey that he's hitting. Just so you see, he's hitting the same F2 hotkey over and over. And it's right. so when you see the numbers next to it, that's just the, how many times in a row you've hit it. Yeah, that's correct. So not only that, what we wanted was to have the same code work with different programs, right? right. So let's say that I have Word, I have multiple instances of Word and multiple instances of Notepad. I have another hotkey set up for Word, and this, this time it will toggle between Word, and here it will toggle between Notepads. So I could just use those to bounce around them very easily, okay? Um, and what we did was we took the code from Taren van Hammer, right? And we converted it into a function so that now you just have to set up your hotkey and tell me what executable you want to work with. That's basically it. Um, and that way it is for you very simple to work with. We are hiding everything that we're doing here. As I mentioned, the code is really short. It's not, there's not much explanation. I just do something if the executable is not open. And if it is, if it is open, then do this. And that this here is the little trick. This this line right there is something that I'm amazed at, at how good it works. Uh, I don't know uh, if you have ever seen that before, uh, Joe. How you could use the group activate to rotate between them. Well, what first off what threw me was when I was looking at his code, he was using the group add but only with one program. And I'm like, wait a minute, when I use this, the few times I've used it, I have multiple executables I'm creating a group for. And I'm like, how would this be helping you with, with one program? And then I, we started studying it. I'm like, oh, you know, it's it's allowing you to have it go across the multiple instances of a program. And that's why it's still a group, right? You're creating a group of the active windows or not, excuse me, of the windows. Right. Uh, between them. The, the trick there was that he used the AHK class window title and it automatically groups all the windows that have that class into this group at, um, automatically, which is something that I have never done before. Uh, you said you have never done that either. So it was a very good addition to um, the knowledge, right, about things that you can do with the group add command. Um, but after we saw what he did, we decided, hey, let's make a function that now is really easy for you to set up which program you want to work with. And then the, the function does everything else by itself in the background.
Yeah, the other day in our hero call, we were demonstrating this, and it was really fun explaining this and talking through the different approaches of just, first off, using groups alone, you might group different things together, like different browsers or something, and they all will respond to you um, as if they're the same executable, which is handy. Yeah. And by the way, for tools that have tabs, like Chrome, you know, browsers, this won't necessarily work great. So don't use it on that. Um, Theron had a different example where he could switch. He would actually do, if it's Chrome, he would do something different and switch through the different tabs. And yeah. maybe we'll update this to say, if it's Chrome, hey, all right, that means you switch through the different tabs. Don't switch to different instances of Chrome. But um, as a beginning, this is just a really cool example of things you can do without a hotkey. So if you like that, um, learning out of hotkey is really amazing. The hero group is where we we share things like this and we learn from each other. And it's just a fun group of people where we're learning about technology and sharing best practices and how to be more efficient. And, and as Ace and I are both, we, we're working with stream decks now and we're like, okay, I could have a button, you know, easily or any sort of a hotkey. Yeah. Very temporary, even like I could see I'm working in Word and, and I'm moving stuff between things. This would be a really great thing because alt tab can sometimes, you know, especially if you were have multiple programs, it could be great to have a hotkey to jump you right to that program instead of have to remember it was four back and three back and look at it a much faster way. So uh, if you enjoyed this, please like the video, it really helps us out. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. We're the largest auto hockey channel out there. We do this full time and we share videos twice a week. And uh, consider joining that hero group or look at one of our courses. Uh, the intro to auto hockey is a great place to start. Learning auto hockey can really save you a lot of time. Cheers.